Hello peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some flow art beading material on this 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm using a carnival of colors and if you're interested in seeing how I do that, well stay tuned. What we're going to do today is a flip cup using five small Dixie cups and all these luscious colors which by the way will be listed in the video description. I also have my white paint and I'll be using that to layer in between like the purple and the turquoise. So all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. I put silicone in everything except for the gold and white. So let's go ahead and layer the cups. I'm going to start with just a little bit of orange. As you can see, I have two on each side, one in the middle. Actually, I'm going to use this one in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it. I don't mind the stripies. So, yeah, we'll just let that happen the way it's happening. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some areas with some stripes. I love the stripes in here.
So I don't know if you can see all the gold and the shimmer in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I am going to torch it just a little bit. develop a little bit see what we've got going on here as far as paints concerned all right I am really happy with this so I'm just going to kind of move it around move it back and forth so I want some of the paint to go to the edges and I kind of want to work my way down the canvas. So down and over, down and over. And when I'm saying down, I'm talking this way. Over meaning I'm tilting here and then I'm tilting here. So I'm kind of walking it over to the edge. So here I'm walking it over to this edge just a little bit and right here. See the weight of the paints right here? Okay, now I'm gonna come back. See that? And then I'm going to go over to this side here. Okay, weight of the paints right there. Okay, then I'm going to go back straight over. Okay, so you can kind of see how I'm getting over to the edge. I slowed down so you could see. And I'm going to continue on like that, and then I'm going to work my way back this way. So. this paint on the edges to help out. So I'm going to move it back, move it back, back and over, back and over. There we go. Now, I like to add a little bit of movement. So I'm quickly adjusting the paint and I am going to Bring it back into the center here like this. Okay, can you see that okay? All right. Okay, let's let that sit for a little bit and see what happens. I do want a lot of movement. Some lovely webbing right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and torch the bejeebers right out of it. Are you guys ready for that? Leave it sit for just a little bit longer. We'll see what happens. And then we'll just move it around to get the cells to, to get a little wonky. All right. Now I'm just going to tilt from side to side. 
opening these cells up just a little bit. Leave that set for a minute and then I'm going to torch it one more time. Okay, that's it. That's where I stop. Yeah, it turned out beautiful. I'm so thrilled with it. Okay, I just finished that other painting and I have this other canvas here that I'm going to repurpose. And just for giggles, I think I'm going to go reverse order of colors. We're going to let those sit for just a minute and then we'll flip them. So, and again, I love to have interest. So, I'm going to go ahead and add all the paint. I don't mind having stripes in my stuff. So cool, right? This is always so much fun, you guys.
let that sit for a minute. And I'll probably tilt just a little bit more and then I'll probably torch a little bit more, but I'll bring you back down for a close up of the wet results. Okay, and here's the second one.